welcome to Simulate Gaming and uh, welcome back to another vlog here on Sandy Bay. So as you can see, the weather is absolutely terrible today. Um, we've had a bit of a luck, a bit of unluck, sorry, with a uh, bit of bad luck. Sorry, English, does the one. And we had a bit of bad luck with the weather lately, as you can see with the, uh, the weather forecaster. We're expecting this over the next few days, so tomorrow's meant to be sunny, but then it's raining Sunday. So uh, whether it will dry in time, I don't know. Luckily, all of our crops are in the ground anyway. But we have a few jobs to do today. Uh, this is just going to take a couple of seconds, literally. We have uh, this borrowed piece of machinery on the back here, which I'll show you in a second. We're just going to turn back into Old Man Jenkins once again. Uh, we're not doing any more of that, do not worry. We've just come here to clean up the stumps. As you can see on the back, we have this huge stump grinder. Now, we borrowed this from a friend. Um, this will literally eat through it in a couple of seconds. So it's a really, really short job to begin with. Um, it's on the three point, obviously, of the uh, tractor, and it literally just mows through it. It's PTO driven, of course. Um, so there's one there, there's one there, and there's also one up there. We only did three trees. Right, so let's go ahead and get ourselves into position here. We'll get this, first of all, raised up like that with the uh, hydraulics. This is hydraulically uh, controlled, this one. Right, we'll get this turned on like so and we'll start grinding as you can see if i just quickly get in here and uh i don't know how you do this again for uh, that one there we go well, let's quickly jump out into the rain look nasty um i don't want to get too close but as you can see this will pretty much more through anything i'm not sure what the rpms of this would be but yeah better than the ones that old man jenkins uses that's for sure so we thought we'd use our own Let's go ahead and get that close up again so we're nice and dry. The heat has been on as we were warming up the tractor. And we'll start getting this down. Hopefully it works. We're in the wrong position now. Let's go ahead and do forward a little bit. There we go. She's pouring away now. So yeah, sorry about the rain. Obviously I'm not Mother Nature. I can't control that. Uh, luckily we've got no actual field work to do. We actually have to go to the field and do some field work because we've been uh, getting attacked lately. Well, our fields, one of our fields has been getting attacked lately by slugs. So we need to go ahead and put a stop to them because they're stumping the uh, the growth of our crops. So uh, stay tuned for that. We're going to probably get the quad bike out and put some uh, some slug pellets down on that. Hopefully we're allowed to in the rain. Um, it's only 8 o'clock in the morning, so we're nice and early. Not too early because we don't want to come here and uh, make too much of a noise with this thing. Because there's houses right there, look, as you can see. So... Do you want to make too much noise? All right, this one's been a bit of a bugger. Come on. Get you into reverse. Nope, he doesn't want to go with this one. There we go, we got it. A little bit resistant, but we managed to get him in the end, and there was one more just up here. Hopefully we haven't woken uh, Old Man Jenkins up. I'm assuming at his age, he probably doesn't get up this early. Um, right, we're going to go ahead and go face downhill, I think, so we have a bit of gravity on our side as well. Right. Where was that stuff? Right there. So we're going to go get ourselves in position. Hopefully this works. There we go. That one's now done. So what we can do now is get the uh, the grinder turned off. If we're selected the right one. There we go. There's no safety guard on this, unfortunately. Um, I feel like I should be for when we're on the road and stuff. But let's go ahead and get that lifted up. Beacon light is still on. Wrong gear simulate. Right, we're going to take this back to the yard. And then, uh, actually, today we're using Billy Bob's car because I don't want to take the transit down because it's a little bit narrow where we're going. So we are, have asked if we can borrow Billy Bob's uh, van. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take that down with the quad bike and uh, we'll do some um, some, sp some pellet spreading. So I'll be back in a second. Let's just take this back. Right, okay, so Billy Bob's going to be getting the safety cage off the Massey Ferguson, so that should be us done with the forestry stuff for a while. We didn't technically need the cage on, we just did it for safety reasons. Let's get the lights on for him here. There we go, so Billy Bob's going to be taking that cage off, so next time you guys see this Massey, she should be back to normal. Um, I'll also leave you to get rid of the uh, the grinder as well. Meanwhile, we're going to go back to the house, we'll get Billy Bob's keys from the side, and... Um, yeah, we'll jump into his van and get the quad bike. We need to actually get the teddy handler out as well. So we need to get the keys for the teddy handler as well. Um, yeah, quite a few things to do today. And then after that, we are prep uh, prepping ourselves for something pretty big on the farm. Uh, I'm not going to say anything just yet. You have to stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead and head back in to the house. There's Molly there in the kitchen. Um, all right. Where did I put those keys? Let's get that closed in a minute. 
Right, so let's go ahead and head out the back door here. Oh, we got stuck to the wall, as you do in real life. And let's go ahead and head out this door here a second. Um, come on, I keep getting stuck to things. Let's get that closed up because it is pretty mucky out here. So here's uh, here's Billy Bob's van, what they're going to be using today, but let's go ahead and get set up first of all. So we've already pulled the telehandler out a second ago. Is the transit van in the way? No, but the John Deere probably is. Let's go ahead and get the John Deere move out of the way a second because we need to get the quad bike into here and the telehandler. Let's get that closed over. Pull this out of the way a second. So John Deere's been busy uh, last night doing some uh, some touch-ups down in the fields. Bit of a uh, bit of work on the tram lines because for some reason they were a little bit the seed wasn't doing very well this year, so we went to touch them up. Um, transit van should be alright. So let's jump onto the quad bike. The seats can be very very wet, but oh well, the work has to be done. Right, let's pull this thing into this uh, shed over here real quick. Uh, probably about here. We'll do a minute. We'll leave it running so she warms up. Now, finally, the telehandler. As you can see, we've got a bail grab on the front of this. Uh, this isn't necessarily the safest way to do this. Um, by the way, the telehandler I mentioned before is really, really loud. We're actually going to get that looked at soon. I think we're getting a new exhaust system fitted. Um, maybe new air filter and stuff. I haven't decided just yet, but we're going to try and make it a bit quieter. So next time you guys see this in a vlog, it should be pretty... Pretty good. That's the honor to do this, especially when we've got all this rain coming in. Right, let's go ahead and pick this up here a second. If we can, let's reposition ourselves. I want to make sure we don't damage it, so we're going to get as straight as we can here. Close her up. Like so. That should do. Like I said, it's not the safest way to do this, but... Oh, well. Okay, we'll get this lifted over the quad bike here. I think we're going to mount her about there, I reckon. Maybe not. We're way too far forward. Um, let's get that taken back a little bit, maybe. Like that. Yeah, that's more like it. So let's go ahead and get that attached to there. We'll get the bell grab open like so. We'll pull it away nice and gently. That's the wrong gear simulate. Need damage to the quad bike then. Right, that's all we needed that for. So, because that wasn't the safest way to do it. Right, John Deere, stop. Um, get that taken off. We'll turn the lights off, beacons off, because we don't want the battery to die on this thing. So, that's now should be nice and neatly done. Uh, as you can see, we've got some, um, some slug pellets on the front here. Nice little bag. Uh, snail and slug pellets. So, that should be enough for what we need today. It's only one little patch we've got down in the field. Um, so what we need to do now is, like I said, we don't want to take the transit van. It's a little bit too long for what we wanted today. So we're going to use Billy Bob's van. So we're going to jump into this. Let's do... Move that back a little bit. We'll get it turned on. Get that lowered down like so. It's pretty quiet, this van. It is 2017, I believe. What is it? 67, so pretty much 2018. Um, let's get this pull forward. In fact, it is really, really quiet. This is... Mess that up. Dang it. Well, okay, so we have now filled up the uh, the spreader. This is a bit big for this quad bike, I will admit. But uh, it was free. So we just recycled an old uh, fertilizer spreader, basically. Um, Alright, let's get this loaded up. We've got some trusty planks of wood here helping us get up on... To the van. Let's go try and do this in third person. Might be a bit easier. Yeah, that's way too big for this quad bike. Like I said, it was completely free. Um, so we might look at a smaller one at some point, but for now it'll do. Right, so she is now all loaded up. We'll make sure we got her into reverse because I'll probably forget when we get there. So now we can go late. Like I said, a little bit too big, but it was free, so I'm not too worried about that yet. We'll probably get a smaller one at some point so we don't damage the back of the quad bike. But yeah, we'll do for now. So, um, there's our trusty little trailer. It's Billy Bob's trusty little trailer. And there's a little... What is this? It's Persial... Persial... What is this? Pippa? Ripper? Bipper? Is that a B or an R? I can't really tell. Right, let's jump into her. Um, like so. We're going to go ahead and get the... In fact, let me just turn something on a minute. We want camera collisions off. There we go. We should be able to move the camera a bit more freely now. We'll get that put away. Um... Can't really see. Of course, this isn't a windowed van, so we can't really see out the back all that well, but not to worry. 
Right, so I'm going to head down to the field, sit back, enjoy, and uh, I'll catch you guys when we uh, get there. Right, guys, we're just approaching the field now. As you can see, this is the field in question. This is the one that's been attacked by slugs lately. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, try and fight them off, basically. There's our friend's barn here. Oh, just hit my mirror on the side of the fence. Oh, well. Right. Luckily, we do have, like, a bit of area here at the end of this road where we can actually work from. So let's go ahead and get our lights turned off here so we don't kill the van. In fact, we'll get the whole van turned off. Uh, like so. Well, that should work. No, apparently not. There we go. That's more like it. Um, right, just make sure we add the uh, the ignition off them. We do. Right, let's jump on to the quad. Let's get uh, turned on. We were already in reverse. Now, hopefully we don't kill ourselves doing this. That's nice and steady. It should come off. There we go. So like I said, um, hopefully we're allowed to do this in the rain. It's only slug pellets, so I don't see why not. Let's get this gate open here real quick. So yeah, we've still got all this old crop around the outside. Um, need to get rid of this at some point. This is not mist crop, it's sort of out the boundaries a little bit. But This is the field, it's a little bit behind schedule because it's been attacked. There's some patches down in that corner there that's the main area. There's also one down that end there, but we just want to do the whole field here. Because we're like quite um, low down next to the motorway and stuff, for some reason it seems to be a, a sweet spot for the slugs. So right, let's go ahead and get our headlights turned on here, like so. Not that we need them, just for a bit of uh, visibility. Right, now I haven't actually done a tram line going into the field, so we're just going to do it here like so. Right, let's get the Drone following us here. We'll put it onto the follow mod. Um, and we'll start getting some slug pellets put down. Like I said, the main area is down there, but not to worry. So I'm going to go ahead and do some of these tram lines. I'm not going to do every single tram line because this isn't normal fertilizer. This is slug pellets. We don't want to completely kill the field off. So we'll probably skip a tram line. Um, I think. Maybe. I don't really know. We'll play it by ear. So here's the uh, the main section here. Let's go ahead and get the hood to turn back on a minute there. Um, so this is the main section here, this corner. As you can see, it's a lot shorter than the rest of the field. This is where the slugs have really been a nuisance. Um, now, we do have to actually go get some head, put some uh, proper fertilizer down this field at some point because obviously slug pellets isn't going to do anything, but we wanted to get this sorted before we put the fertilizer down. Um, so let's go ahead up here. We've got about just under half a tank left of fertilizer. But we've already done this bit, so we don't need fertilizer. Oh, so slug pellets. Billy Bob's van there looks pretty nice. It's got a pretty nice van. Right, let's see if there's any areas that we can see that haven't been treated just yet. There was one. Uh, this one. Let's head down this tram line. Why not? We got we got the resources to do so. We just as well do it. Do you know what I was saying about uh, some of the tram lines haven't come out properly? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and touch them up. This is one of them. As you can see, for some reason, there's still crop growing inside the actual left tram here. Which is, uh, well, left tram line. Which is a bit annoying. Not really that big of an issue, though. It's just a little bit annoying more than anything. Um, could be old seed, but I doubt it because it's growing at the same pace as everyone else. So 
head down this tram line once again, and we'll probably call, make this the last one. Like I said, this isn't proper fertilizer, so we don't want to go ahead and cover the whole field in this, but we'll head up to the end of this tram line here. We'll probably call that a day with this. We do have another task to do today. Like I said, it's been a lot of odd jobs because it's raining, unfortunately. The rain is something we cannot control, so we'll have to find other stuff to do. Now, we have bought some bales from another farm, so we need to pick them up. They're meeting us down at Sandy Bay stores, ironically. Um, so we'll head down to there. We'll probably take the transit for that, or we might take a bale trailer. I don't know if we actually have a bale trailer around good enough for today, though. I'm pretty happy with that. It's pretty patchy, but like I said, it's not fertilizer, it's uh, it's pellets. So we don't want to go ahead and treat the whole field. Now, so we're going to head out of here right now. We'll get the quad bike loaded back up onto Billy Bob's van. And the best way to do that is probably to reverse up the road, because those we got to go all the way to the end there. And of course, we can't see anything, because we've got a huge spread on behind us. All right, see if we can do it this time. It's a bit narrow, this trailer, but... The, uh, the the load for that van's not exactly extensive, so... Right, third time lucky, we managed to do it. And we've also just sort of fell to our knees a little bit there. I do like that van quite a lot. Um, so yeah, that's all loaded up now. We'll make sure she's all strapped in in a second. But first of all, we're going to put the wooden planks away, make sure the trailer's all hooked up properly. Um, so to do that, we'll go into there, we'll go bish bash bosh. That should have worked. Yep, that's all locked up now. So like I said, we are going to get some proper fertilizer down here at some point. We'll go ahead and close the gate first of all, though. Like so. Awesome. No, 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 no. There we go. Wrong button. Let's get that hooked up. Awesome, so that should take care of the uh, slugs on this field at least. We're probably going to do some more fields at some point, but like I said, hopefully the bales that we're getting delivered today aren't going to be completely destroyed, because that would be very, very annoying with all this rain and stuff. So I'm going to head back to the farm right now. We'll give Billy Bob his van back. Um, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, okay, really, so the final task that I think we're going to capture on the vlog today, we just got little bits and pieces to do after this, but... Um, our package is just delivered. It's in the yard just across the road there. So let's go ahead and get, first of all, this bell handler taken off. We are going to be needing this, but uh, we're going to be needing this after because I want to go ahead and get the other thing done first because um, it's raining, basically. So we're going to go ahead and pick up this manure grab here, or manure fork, whatever you want to call it. Get this moved out of the way. Plop you down here. Those fertilizer bags are pretty much empty. Um, we we'll need to probably get them moved or taken away, or at least we'll get some more and put them to the front, maybe. Let's go ahead and get this one hooked up first of all. And, uh, oh, what's going on here? I think I'm just caught on invisible collisions and stuff. There we, go. we don't actually have a chance to properly use the uh, the John Deere yet, us. Biddy Bob has been using it a lot, but we, not so much. We're going to have to do something at some point. Of course, it is pretty much summer now. It's like the last day of spring. So the next video, well, the next vlog you guys see, it will probably officially be summer. Let's get that front piece lifted up there. Um, let's get our beacon light on. Like so. So here we go. Here's our package. Uh, obviously, we don't have any harvest this year just yet. So we've had to go ahead and buy. Uh, why are we sprinting constantly? That was the wrong way. Let's go. We had to go ahead and buy. All right, mate. We have to help go ahead and buy some of these. So um, let's go ahead and get these straps taken off here. Like I said, we're going to start with the straw because it's raining. In fact, it stopped. Oh no, it hasn't stopped raining. I thought it was stopped raining then. We've also got how much is that? Three, six, seven, eight bales. Um, silage bales as well, but look, they're wrapped, so it doesn't matter if we take them in straight away. Let's go ahead and get these ones off first of all. Um, where's the forks facing? That way. There we go. I've done it in stacks of three instead of stacks of four, which is interesting. That should be on now. Yep. We got it. Get this reversed. We're going to go back to the uh, shed we were using last time we worked here, if you guys remember that series. Oh, never mind. We just crashed. Luckily, it's a new straw. Um, let's get this camera rotated around a second. 
Now, is that close enough to the wall? Yeah, I reckon that's it. Wrong way. I always get confused when uh, which one controls the camera, which one c uh, controls the implement. Um, for those of you that don't know, I don't know if you can see it on the wheel cam. There's a little blue light here, and when that's red, it's the camera. See, it's red now, and then it's blue, it's the implement. So it gets a little bit confusing sometimes, so I do apologise. Um, yeah, one joystick to two things, basically. Uh, let's go ahead and collect these rear stacks here. Straighten up a little bit. So yeah, next time you guys, uh, well, next time you see a vlog from me, it'll probably be summer, so hopefully most of this rain will go away. In fact, we can see by the forecast, it's raining on the first day of summer. It's also raining on the third and fourth days of summer, which gives us two good days to work and one okay-ish day to work. So hopefully it doesn't turn out to rain all day. Hopefully it's just a shower, but we'll soon see. It's been raining all day so far um, here, and it's currently Friday. Friday, which is the fifth fifth day of spring. All right, let's get that plop down like that. We're not gonna go too close together because we do have all this shed here. We haven't got any hay just yet, so <sighs> hopefully we'll get some grass done soon. It's gonna be very soggy at the moment, though, which is annoying. Um, are we on? Input mode, yes we are, but why is this not working? There we go, wrong way. Let's get the boom extended here. There we go. Let's get that protracted in. Now, for those who wonder how you do the other, uh, the other things with the uh, joystick and stuff, you twist it, that does one function, so on this, for example, it raises and lowers that, that's twist. Then you hold the red button on here. Uh, on this particular implement, it's uh, retract the boom. And then up and down, left to right and stuff, does normal. Uh, it's pretty... In fact, I need to actually bring that in. There we go. Now, shall we go six high? Yeah, I think we shall. Shall we go six high? We'll try it. Depends on which hay bales, uh, straw bales are we get out of our harvest when it's time. That's not completely straight in there. Let's go ahead and reverse a little bit here. Drop that down. We should be good. So we go. There's yeah. I think that's as high as we're gonna go though. So we're gonna do stacks of six. Got one more stack here. Hopefully, this is uh, working properly. They're gonna be a little bit soggy, but not too much. There was a tarpaulin sheet over them when they arrived. Um, there we go. Let's get that lifted up here. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the vlog here. I need to go get the bale handle that we used to put the um, the slug pellet spreader on the quad bike. I'm going to use that to get the uh, silage bales off. Although they already are fermented, they are ready-made silage bales ready to go. Just to be a little bit safe. Um, I don't really trust bale table that much. So thank you very, very much for joining me in this vlog. If you did enjoy it, please up my thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you. That's the wrong way. I'll see you in the next one.